All right, praise the Lord and let the church say amen. I hope everybody's doing well. As you can see the title up there, you can't even keep the two greatest commandments. You can't even keep the two. And I want to give a shout out to my man, Larry. That's why I'm doing this video also to respond back to you. And you was looking at the older teachings that I did about the Old Testament and the New Testament. And you know what, Mr. Larry, I stand bold on this. And um, nobody will ever change my way of thinking because what God gives to me, what he reveals to me, that's what I stick with. And a lot of people think when I do the videos about the law that uh, I'm just going to teach Ten Commandments. And a lot of people get mad when I say this statement, just like I'm about to say now, that everybody wasn't up under the law. Because if you wasn't a Jew, you was considered as a Gentile. And um, I always say God told us, showed us that Israel was his chosen. And um, that's who the Ten Commandments was for. And a lot of people disagree with that, but that's cool with me. I'm, you know, I don't get mad if folks don't agree with me or not. It's each to their own. And God had Israel special. They was chosen. And you know who those, those ten was for? And it, it actually is more than that. But that was to the ones up under Mount Sinai. You know, that's why if you put everybody up on the law nowadays and what we're doing right now, we'll all be dead. Nobody will survive. And God knew when he gave those laws to Moses for the children of Israel that he knew they wasn't even going to be able to keep it. Because think about it, out of all of that in Israel, who was able to keep the law? Because you couldn't even break not even the least. And if you broke just one of them, you broke all of them. And uh, that's why I want to title this video, You Can't Even Keep... The two greatest commandments. Look at what Jesus required. When he said in the book of Matthew, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul. He said that is the first greatest commandment. And he said to the second one, it's just like it. He said, love your who? Neighbor as thyself. And on that, hang up the law and the prophets. And see, most people don't catch that. And those two right there, let's just be real. The two, the two greatest commandments that Jesus required, that was the most important ones, don't nobody hardly keep them nowadays. So you talk about keeping the 10, you can't even keep the two. And if you broke any one of them, you broke all of them. This is why I said, if you, if you think I'm lying, if we were still, if all of us nowadays right now was up under the law, the Old Testament, everybody who has committed adultery would be dead. You know why? Because what you did back then, if you, if you committed adultery, you, you could get killed. You could get put to death. A lot of things that we are doing now would have got us killed. And if we was just to go, this is why people disagree with me because they don't want to teach the other side because I always tied in with sinners, with Gentiles. And if, if we all was up under the law, then Jesus wouldn't have healed a whole lot of folks. Jesus wouldn't even heal the Samaritans, the, the blind man at that time. I mean, not the blind man, the one that had the uh, leper, the leper. The ten leapers, the only one came back and gave them the glory was a uh, um, Samaritan. And Samaritans and Jews didn't even get along. This is why Jesus went after a whole lot of people. You know, people debate about the Sabbath when he did things against the Sabbath. You know, I'm not going to say against because Jesus is God. And that's why I always come on here and tell the truth. Now, that's why I want to say all of that because I wanted to focus on the two greatest commandments. Look at how many people don't love. Matter of fact, let's get even deeper. Look at how many people call themselves Christians and don't even love. They won't even forgive. Man, and going to bed at night praying to God and, and talking about how much they love God, but they, they don't even love their own brother. They ain't spoke to their own sister. They won't forgive, and, and you won't forgive, and you won't forgive. And, and God says, how can you say you love me? Whom face you never even seen before. You saying you love me, but you see your brothers and sisters all the time. And you, just to be real, you ain't spoke to them in years. You can't even keep the two greatest commandments while you talking about the other ten. That's why I say when you break it down, it was more than ten. And when you go back and do the studying on Israel, see, this is why Israel, once again, is God's chosen. I made a statement in my old video. I said JT didn't keep the ten because JT still have to repent. See, I hear people all the time talking about how they keep the law. They keeping it so well, and they still repenting that night. They still doing things against what God says do. They still shacking up. They still doing all this stuff, but they yet saying they're a, command, they a commandment keeper. See, that's why I keep it real. That's why when Jesus was rejected, he went on to the Jews. 
I mean, he went on to the Gentiles, excuse me, because they, they rejected Jesus so much. And, and when you look at the religious leaders, the Pharisees, look at what they was doing. All they, all they was concerned about was jamming Jesus up with the law. And Jesus showed us how he broke around. Out of, he checked those Pharisees. And that's going to that's gonna be my next video about those Pharisees in, in, a, in a little bit. And he checked them so well. And he kept moving because he wasn't going to keep wasting time on people. He had to go to who needed to be reached. That's also why he talked about the sheep. When one is straight, you don't worry about the ones that don't need repenting and everything. You go after that one. He told you, you leave the 99 and you go after that one. And most preachers won't even go after the one. You know what they do? Preach on them when they leave. Preach about them in the pulpit while they leave. Is that love? No. That's trying to get even. How many people right now calling themselves Christians trying to get even? I was just looking at my sister Lisa's video on vengeance is mine. When God said vengeance is his, said the Lord. And we do everything. Let me be all the way real, brothers and sisters, because it's almost Easter time, which I don't give a damn about. It's it's If you're going to be real, and I'm going to go off the wall when I say this, Christians do the same thing that pagans do. You ain't got to agree with me. Just look in the word of God. Christians do the same thing that pagans do. And we all know how God hated a whole bunch of things. You know why I say that? Look at Halloween. Most Christians are going to celebrate it. Look at Easter. Most Christians don't know a clue about nothing. And they think it's about bunny rabbits and hiding eggs. Look at Christmas. Look at all the very well things that God say don't do, and most Christians do it. And they look just like pagans. Y'all wonder why I don't call myself a Christian. I'm a true believer. And people get mad at me because I don't do what most people do. I don't care about, man, what 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 most folk. At these churches teaching all this religion and tradition. I'm out of that. That's why I'm in a category with the true believers. I'm in the true faith. Like, like the Bible say, one faith, one Lord, one baptism. And most Christians are doing the same thing that pagans do. And I know I just made a whole lot of y'all mad with that, but I'm just being real. Everybody call yourself a Christian. Not everybody. Let me just, let me say it like I want and get that right. Because a lot of people are really trying to live right for the Lord. Because a true Christian is not going to live half of the word. They're going to put on the whole armor like Paul say. And they're going to live it. That's why Paul had to go to the Gentiles also. If we was up under that midi man, I know you feel me. Hmm. We talked about this before. See, see, most folks don't understand the Old Testament. See, I wasn't in the Old Testament. I'm glad I was up under this grace and mercy because what if, let me say it like this. What if God right now cut out grace and mercy and put us up under the laws? Who would survive? See, that's talking against the Bible to me because you know why? That's the whole point of Christ coming to, to redeem us, to save us. You know why? Because why would God just be one-sided? See, he had to show us the laws and consequences. Then he had to show us the grace and mercy. And the reason why I say this is because the scripture that bags it up is when he said, I sent my son not to condemn the world, not to condemn the world, but through him, the world could be saved. So you can't even keep the two. A lot of people don't even love their neighbor. They disrespecting their neighbor. See, this is why we always talk about love, love, love. And if you don't have love, brothers and sisters, you don't have nothing at all. That's why he said you can't say you love me whom face you've never even seen before. And yet, here's your brother right in front of you and you won't even forgive him. You can't get it right. And see, forgiveness is not easy. But when you don't forgive, look at how the Lord look at you when you don't forgive. This is why you can't even keep the two greatest commandments. Look at how many husbands abusing their wives, wives abusing their husbands. You can't even keep the two greatest commandments. There is no love. Look at this world right now. There is no love because if we was keeping the two greatest commandments, it wouldn't be no jealousy. It wouldn't be no hatred. It wouldn't be no murder just because you can't stand somebody. It wouldn't be none of that. It wouldn't, let me be real, it wouldn't be so much animosity in the church if we was even keeping the two greatest commandments. So you can't even keep the two. This is what I love about the YouTube family. 
I see the love going on. It's more love on the computer than it is in the church. And that's sad. It's a damn shame. It's sad. So most people can't even keep the two greatest commandments, which is all about love. When you go back to the Sermon on the Mount, brothers and sisters, look at that very closely. Look at it very closely. And when you look at this word love, who is love? God is love. Agape love. Loving unconditionally. Loving somebody in spite of how bad they treated you, in spite of what they have done for you. Most Christians won't forgive each other. So most Christians can't even keep the two. That's why when you look at the Old Testament and the New Testament, everybody wasn't a Jew. So what about this? This is why I always talk about both sides. JT give you both sides. I'm not going to preach to you the Old Testament and then don't even teach to you the New Testament. I'm not going to tell you about the Jews and then don't tell you about the Gentiles. I'm not going to tell you you going to hell because you ain't keeping the 10 when Christ came for sinners. That's why when I broke that scripture down, when he said, I did not come to destroy the laws of the prophets, but to fulfill them. And when you look at what those words really mean in the Greek or the Hebrew, you'll feel me in that video. Because Jesus, oh, Jesus, done, Jesus did all of the commandments. See, Jesus was the pretty much only one who could say, I fulfilled those commandments because JT couldn't. I failed when it came to lying. I failed when it came to stealing. I failed when it came to whoring around. See, I took myself out of that category. I had to hop off into grace and mercy. But I don't say that as to go around and still commit sin and do dirty things. No, I say that to say that Jesus came for us. And when he hung on the cross, what's the thing that he said? It is finished. Most people don't catch that. What was finished? Why did Jesus say it was finished? That's the question of y'all, YouTube family. Why did he say it was finished? So most people can't even keep the two greatest commandments. That's why I say we would be struck dead right now if God still had all of us up under. Thou shall not commit adultery. Man, most people wouldn't even make it. Half of the world would be dead. If you stole something, look at what happened. That's why I just did the video also about Ananias and his wife, Sapphira. They dropped dead in the church for lying to God. Now, if we was to lie, if we was to be under the commandments and got killed for lying right now, it wouldn't be not one church standing because every church got a lie in there. And sad thing is most of the lying is coming from the pulpit. Ouch. I know. Just say ouch and say amen because most lies is coming from the pulpit on down and Satan got most of these churches wrapped around his finger. So you can't even keep the two greatest commandments. This is why I start focusing on what the word the word of God truly says. Israel was God chosen. He wanted Israel to not even look like another nation. He wanted Israel to be special because God planned for Israel and, and Israel is still God's chosen and don't let nobody tell you different. And that's not to say that he don't love the rest of us. But Israel is God's chosen. You better believe it. If we was to love, like the Bible say love, it wouldn't be no debating back and forth about the word of God, about who's right and who's wrong. It wouldn't be all this. We would have love. We would have compassion. We would have peace. And real talk, we would have so much healing on this land. So with that being said, most people can't even keep the two greatest commandments. And Jesus summed it all up. So you can keep on, you know, talking about the old and, and, and wanting to be up under this and up under that. That's why you don't even want you, you got this great debate about time. People don't understand nothing about the Old Testament. There's a time and a season for everything. It was a time to make war. It was a time to make peace. It's a time to get understanding. And you should have been getting understanding a long time ago. So with that being said, Big Brother, I hope this video kind of answered your question. That's why I wanted to call it. People can't even keep the two greatest commandments. We would all be dead right now for not loving if that was the case. We did something to harm our brother. If we, we shacked up and all of this, this old stupid stuff we do, none of us would be living right now. I'm glad he got grace and mercy. Peace. Stay blessed.